Hello everyone, thank you for coming to visit with me today in my video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you 13 weird things that I do to save money. Now some of these I may have talked about in my video that I did on frugal living, so there may be a repeat of some of them. And, and some of you may not even think they're weird at all, but I know there's going to be a few people that will be like, oh, that is something that I would never do. But these are things that I do to save money. And I do have a notebook with them written down, so I'll be looking down at the notebook every once in a while. And the first one that I want to tell you about is I use a brick or a half-gallon plastic milk jug filled with water sinked in my tank on my toilet to save on money. That way, each time you flush, your toilet doesn't use as much water to flush your toilet, and it saves you money. And number two... I use junk mail envelopes to make out my shopping list. Now, this is one that I think that I talked about before, and I'm sure other people do this too. But if junk mail comes in, and even if the letter inside the junk mail is blank on the back side, I will rip it up and use the little scraps of papers to take notes or to jot down a shopping list. The number three thing that I do if I go to a yard sale and they have like you can all you can get in one bag, like for $3, $5, something like that, I will stuff a bag full of clothing that is in pretty good quality um, and bright colors to take home. And I take the clothing apart to use to make uh, quilts or curtains. Depends on how big it is. Like if it's a pair of pants, um, you could probably make a small pair of uh, window curtains out of it. But if it's a smaller thing, like a t-shirt or something like that, I use it to make patchwork quilts. And the number four thing that I do, I use regular shower curtains to make regular window curtains, which I'm, I, I don't have any in my house right now. Well, yeah, I actually do in the other bedroom. I found a shower curtain at a yard sale for 50 cents. It had a tiny little hole in it. And uh, I bought it and split it down the middle and put the hole part on the outside and made window curtains out of it. And I did have window curtains in one of my other houses that were made out of shower curtains. They're, they're actually cheaper. A shower curtain is actually cheaper than regular drapes. They're very expensive. And then number five... I take home extra condiment packets from restaurants to use at home, like ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, syrup, ranch dip, hot sauce, anything that I have um, with a meal. And sometimes I'll ask them at the window when I go through drive through if they have extra ketchup and stuff. They'll throw a big handful of it in. Some places charge you for it now, I know. But the ones that don't, if you ask for extra, they'll usually give it to you. And if you eat in a place that's got a self-service, you can usually take extra from there. As long as you don't go overboard and like, you know, grab a big ginormous handful of it. Um, number six, I bring plastic bags home from work to use in my garbage bag. Now, these plastic bags come from, um, like, if they're unloading stuff that they're going to put on their shelves, they're going to throw the bag away anyway. If it's big enough to use in a trash can, I'll take it and put it in my purse. Um, I use the, I brought home the bags from work that when they send their towels out in the kitchen to be washed, the company that washes them brings them back in a big plastic bag, and they take the towels out and fold them up, or sometimes they just leave them in the bag, and when they get to the end of the bag, I take those. Um, if it's got if there's uh, plates like for a restaurant in a bag that's big enough to use in a trash can and they take the plates out to put on the shelf, I'll take those bags home to recycle and use in my trash can. Number seven, I drink water from my tap here at the house instead of buying bottled water because it's cheaper. Um, some people say they don't like the taste of the tap water in their house. Um, this saves me from bringing a lot of extra plastic in my home and it's just something I enjoy. I mean, I like the regular water out of the tap. I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, the only time that I would buy, like, water from a bottle like that would be if it was flavored water. Uh, 
there's some really good flavored waters out there, and I have bought them like if I'm on a road trip and I stop somewhere to get something to drink, I might take that. But usually I bring my own water with me, and I have bottles in my ice box where I had orange juice that I had bought, and I just rinsed them out and filled them up with water and put them in there. And the next one is I will pick up pennies if I see them on the ground when I'm walking. Now, some people won't bother to bend over and pick up a penny because they say it's just a penny. But I have walked by areas in parking lots where somebody has either accidentally spilt their purse or reached in their pocket for coins and maybe pulled out a bunch. Or maybe they had them in their ashtray and they emptied their ashtray and they forgot about the money and they threw it on the ground. And I've walked by parking lots and found sometimes just like a whole bunch of coins on the ground. And I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Somebody's purse probably spilled and they didn't want to bother picking up all the pennies. I do. I'll pick them up. Even if it's one penny on the ground, I see it, I pick it up. Um, I also save wash and reuse straws, like from drive through if I get a soda or if I eat in a restaurant, I bring the straws home with me, I rinse them out, I wash them, and I reuse them over and over until they start cracking, you know, where they get cracks in them where you can't drink out, and then I, then I will pitch them. I use reuse paper towels more than once. Now, this is only if I'm using a paper towel to dry my hands. If I'm using a paper towel to wipe up spills, like syrup or mustard or ketchup or something like that, no, I don't reuse them. But if I'm washing my hands and I'm drying with a paper towel, which I have paper towels in my kitchen, I will put them in a little basket. And then when I, next time I dry my hand, wash my hands to dry, I will get one of those paper towels out and reuse it a second, sometimes even a third time if they're not really... Uh, you know, wriggled up so bad that they, they don't have any drying absorbency in them. Um, I use washcloths in my bathroom instead of a hand towel. And the reason I do this, now I live by myself and I don't have that many guests and I don't have anybody else here to wash their hands in there. But the main reason I do it, I think it's more sanitary. I've been in people's homes where they've had what they call guest towels hanging up. It's just one towel that's hanging in there, and everybody that goes in their bathroom to wash their hands dries on that same towel. To me, I think that's unsanitary. I keep a stack of washcloths beside the sink, and each time I wash my hand, and I wash my hands a lot in the bathroom, I will take one washcloth, dry my hands with it, hang it up to dry, and then when it dries, I put it in the laundry basket. I don't reuse them a second time. Uh, but I don't want to throw them in the laundry basket wet because they may do. So I will hang it over the shower rod, and then when it dries, I put it in the laundry basket. When I have a tube like toothpaste or hair gel or hand cream or something that's used up to the point where you can't squeeze any more out of it, I take a pair of scissors, I cut the tube in half, and I use my fingers or a Q-tip or a spoon to get in there and get what's out. If it's toothpaste, I just take my toothbrush and swirl it around. If it's hand lotion, I can use to get my finger in there enough. What I do, I, I start off like if this is the top, I rub around the top as much as I can get that I can reach. Then I take my scissors and I cut it down again to where I can get in there deeper. That way I get every last drop out of the tube. And let's see, I think that I'm on my last thing on the, my number 13. I, if I'm in a public restroom, washing my hands and drying, and I use their towels out of their machine, after I dry my hands, I put those towels in my purse, I bring them home with me. Those towels I can use to wipe up spills. You know, if I drop something in the floor or on the sink when I'm cooking, if I accidentally spill ketchup or soy sauce or A1 sauce on the sink, I can use those towels to wipe it up. So there you go. That is 13 of my weird things that I do to save money. How many of those things do you do? How many of those things do you think is weird? Or how many of those things do you say, no way would I ever do that? It's not going to offend me 
if you tell me, because I'm not going to change the way I do. Um, it's the way that I live, and uh, it, it's the way that I economize, and then I try to live frugal. So thank you guys for coming today and visiting with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did. And y'all come back and see me any old time. Bye for now.